Hi there, I'm Michael Cunningham from LearnDash. And yes, you read the title right? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to build an online course with LearnDash in under 10 minutes. So, just a quick disclaimer, I did prepare majority of the content beforehand, and I strongly recommend doing this as it makes the process easy for building your online course. Once you have those things ready to go, you should be able to follow along in this tutorial. So, let's talk about what I put together for the purpose of this video. The course outline. I've already structured the sections, lessons, topics, and quizzes with appropriate titles. I've also gone ahead and prepared the course assets. This entails the description for the course, the featured images, and the branding. I've also gone ahead and prepared the files. This includes the video files, the images, the PDFs for the course, and the content for each lesson. I'll be building an online course for one of my passions, basketball. I'll be demonstrating how I can create a course teaching an amateur how to shoot a basketball. And those are the stakes. Let's start shooting some hoops and get right into it. So once you've gone ahead and purchased your LearnDash Cloud subscription, you'll be taken to an onboarding wizard where you'll be able to start configuring your online course platform. So uh, let's start by get, clicking on Get Started. And as you can see, we have our username. So I'm just gonna put in Michael C. I'm um, giving myself a password here. So be sure to give your site a name. So I'm going to enter basketball fundamentals and learn basketball quick and easy. So we're now in the area of our onboarding wizard where we're asked to tell them about our course. And so they are asking, how many courses do you plan to create and what type of courses will you have? I do want multiple courses, but I want my first course to be a simple course. There will be no certificate, but if you want to have a certificate, you can add one and it will be a timed course. If you also need to have a group course, you can also select this option. So I've selected the options that apply to me and now I'm asked, do I want to charge for the course? And yes, I do. This will not be a free course. And so the other thing I want to do here is ensure that I add my currency code and I can easily connect my Stripe account if need be. But what I'm going to do first is connect. So I'm going to add my account details here and click continue. Log in with my password. Now, once I've successfully logged in, I'm going to click connect. And there you have it. It's so easy to connect Stripe as your payment processor to sell your courses. Now, in order to, for Stripe to function properly, you must add your Stripe webhook endpoint, and you can do that uh, after the fact. So we'll, we'll skip that step for now, and we will go ahead and create our course. So let's click on Next. And so it's telling us what it's going to add to our website for the setup. And so everything looks good here. And we're going to save and complete. All right, so we're now finally in our WordPress dashboard. So let's go about creating this course. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually going to install our starter template for our course. So let's click on activate starter templates and we're using the cadence themes. And so I'm just going to look for the one that is going to be suitable for an e-learning site. So I'm gonna click on course. And I did a bit of research and the one that I like most for my course is gonna be the nutrition course. And so here we can customize the color palette. And so let's take a look at some of these. And so this is just going to govern our website. So for now, I think I am happy with this. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna import the full site. So if we take a look at this, you can see that it's asking us if we want to import the customizer settings as well as import content. And for the purpose of this video, I will import those items, but you can clearly uh, untick or untoggle these items so that you don't have these settings. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so here, but we're just going to skip and start importing. So it clearly shows that our import is complete. And so we're now going to head over to the Learn Dash course area. I'm gonna click on courses. And as you can see, there's a preloaded course, but we're going to ignore that. What we're gonna do for our course is we are going to use the YouTube playlist feature that allows you to use a YouTube playlist to add all of your course content using YouTube videos. So 
So I'm gonna click on this item right over here, create a video playlist. And I already have my playlist entered here. So I'm going to load the data from YouTube. So now that my course content has been created, we're gonna set the access for our users. So I would like to sell this course. So I'm gonna click on buy now and enter the price point. So my course is $47. And then we're going to enable free form as I'd like my users to be able to uh, freely move through the course content as they please. So I'm gonna create the course. And as you can see in less than a minute, I already have my course preloaded for me from the YouTube playlist. So let's take a look at what this course looks like already. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the view and click on open link in an incognito window. So I can see what the course looks like. So fantastic, we have our course ready to go right out of the box with all of the items. So let's look at some of the course content. So we're gonna go back to my original page and I'm gonna click on view. And as you can see, I can navigate through the content here. So if I click on this video, you will see I have the information. Another thing you'll notice is that we also have the information from my video description on YouTube that has been embedded as text into the area. So let's go ahead and start adding some more content like our quizzes to this course. So before we get into adding our quiz, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to add our course description and our course requirements into the course page area. So to do that, we're gonna click on edit. And we're going to be using the Guten Block editor to add our content. Now a nifty tool about Cadence Blocks is that they have a design library with preloaded wireframes that we can use to edit our content. So I'm gonna take a quick moment here and start adding content. So I already have an idea of what I want my course to look like. So what I'm gonna do is use the Cadence Blocks to be able to create wireframes for my course upon which I will add content. So now that we've gone ahead and added all of the course description and details to the course page, let's update the page and let's take a look at what it looks like on the front end. So this is what the course looks like on an incognito tab without a user being logged in. And as you can see, we have a nice featured image at the top, our title, the price, and the area where they can start making a payment, the course description, the requirements, additional text, testimonials, and we also have our course content. So the last thing we have to do now is just add a quiz to our course. So in order to start creating the quiz for our course, we're gonna head over to the Builder area, and we're going to navigate to the lesson in which we want to have this quiz. Okay, so let's go down with it and start creating this quiz. So I'm gonna click on New Quiz, and I'm gonna enter the title of the quiz. And I'm just gonna paste in my quiz title here. And click on add quiz and we're going to update the page and so now let's start adding questions to this quiz i'm going to click on edit and if you like you can add a bit of content to the quiz page i'm just going to simply say uh ensure to answer all questions so let's enter the quiz builder area where we can start adding questions so i'm going to go to the builder new question and i'm going to paste my question in here and click on add question. I'm gonna click on this drop down so I can start adding the answers. I'm gonna click on update. And then I'll go ahead and create my other quiz. So now that we've gone ahead and added all our quiz content, let's preview the course from the user perspective, initiate a purchase, and let's see how we can go about doing this. So first things first, what we're gonna do is ensure that our course is in test mode. So to do that, head over to learn dash, settings, payments, and then head over to the test mode area and switch the toggle on. We're gonna save those settings. So now on our course page, we're gonna run through a purchase. I'm gonna go take this course, add in a username. Once that's done, we'll click on register. So once registration is successful, I'm gonna click on take this course. I'm gonna make a payment. I'm gonna follow by adding information then clicking on pay and voila. Just like that, my transaction is successful. And so now I can interact with my course content. Scroll through lessons. And that's all there is to it. I just demonstrated how to create an online course in under 10 minutes. 
Pretty simple, right? With LearnDash, you too can help your students learn anything in a dash. So it's your turn. We'd love to see the amazing courses that you create with LearnDash. We really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments area below the video. If you want to be notified when we upload more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification. And if you liked the video, be sure to like the video. That's all for now. Michael, signing out.